Well, if you grew up in Sunday school, or you've been reading your Bible for any length of time, you've read about an Old Testament character by the name of Daniel. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Life's Devotional, and I want to just kind of share with you a little bit some thoughts that I had concerning this young man who was Daniel. Now we know that he was a Jewish lad that had been taken into the Babylonian captivity, and uh, he was a fine young man. What we read of Daniel, uh, he was just a prince of a guy, and he was in great demand. I mean, the king uh, liked him and, and saw that he could serve him well. And well, we just think about the responsibilities that Daniel had because he gained the favor of the king. And, and uh, yet there came a time that uh, he faced some challenges. At one time was that uh, he was to eat meat that had been offered to idols. And it says that he purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with uh, that meat. And uh, the story goes on how he stood true to his resolution. He just purposed in his heart that he wasn't going to do it. And he challenged the king about you just let me go ahead and just eat soup and see how I do. And of course everything was good because God was watching out for him. But the thing that we remember the most about Daniel, not only his purpose to remain true to his God and, and uh, please God, was that he was faced with uh, being thrown into a den of lions if he did not stop praying. Bible says that he went to his room three times a day, even though he was in a foreign land. He opened his window toward Jerusalem and prayed unto God. Well, that didn't go over very well in Babylon, and uh, they tried to put a stop to it, threatened him that if he did not stop praying to his God, that he would be thrown into a den of lions, which was certainly a certain death. Uh, they didn't feed those lions very much because they wanted them to be hungry. It was a form of execution, and they threatened him to be thrown into the den of lions, but you know that didn't make one little bit of difference with Daniel. Uh, he went right ahead and prayed to God. He went right ahead in the face of uh, persecution in the face of execution he went right ahead and prayed to his heavenly father well we know there's an awful good outcome to that story but what i want to get at today is that uh you know if we'll be true and faithful to god god will take care of us and i remember singing a song as a young person dare to be a daniel dare to stand alone Dare to have a purpose firm and dare to make it known. And I've often wondered if I would have the same courage that Daniel had as he faced the challenges that he faced as a young man there in Babylon. But uh, he's withstood, and I think it all begins because he purposed in his heart that he was going to do what was right. And that's what it's going to take for us today to do what's right. We've got to make up our mind that we're going to do it. So maybe a little chorus we sometimes sing, I am determined, I've made up my mind, I will serve the Lord. So Daniel purposed in his heart, he was determined that he was going to please God. And as a result, God took really good care of him. God will take care of those that are attempting to please him today. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of faithfulness to God that Daniel gives to us. And Lord, may we emulate his faithfulness. Lord, we don't know what we might face before we get through this old world. Probably nothing like Daniel did, but we never know, Lord, what the challenges may be for us. May we purpose in our heart that we're going to do the right thing to please God. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow. Here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Aiton. Goodbye now.